December 2022, I signed up for Erasmus Plus project in little Switzerland, aka Poland's mountain city. Throughout multiple videos, I take you along and show my journey. These are free. I need to recharge from people. Life changing moments. I will pass out. Yeah. If you haven't seen my previous video, then you will be extremely confused by the intro because here's no intro. Basically, I'm here in Poranin Zakopane on Erasmus. But I'm not going to talk about what I'm doing, what's happening, because I said all that in my previous video. So this was my first full morning here. I did a little stretch workout and then went outside to actually for the first time see where I'm staying because I arrived extremely late and uh, now this morning sunny beautiful morning I was able to see where, what's my surroundings what am I doing I basically went out with uh, the girl I'm staying it with and we talked a little bit got to know each other not much because it was the first day everyone's like kind of not knowing each other right and um, basically I was really amazed because it was winter wonderland and when I saw those mountains far away, from even far away I felt like whoa oh my freaking god this is insane the first breakfast wasn't the best though because there weren't a lot of vegan options but you'll see further how I was able to change it so this is the room I'm staying with another girl basically this is the entrance then here's the TV <laughs> how old tv right um here's my bed as i chose this room first as i discovered it first i chose the biggest bed obviously a messy so a drawer things my suitcase a lamp and here's the other side basically as you can tell pretty old here her room another free room free room for bed and the beautiful view wait my bed and what I didn't mention throughout this video, basically, if I would have stayed even longer, this whole time is basically a bulking diet because two meals, extremely a lot of food, extremely good food. I'm just currently going on a walk. It's like almost 3 p.m. We had the break from 1 a.m. till 4 p.m. 1 a.m. 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And I just came to the nearest village. It took me 15 minutes because it's snow right now here. It's not that big snow but oh, the sun the last sun because this is the only this is going to be the only sunny day so gotta use that sun to the fullest potential my arm is currently freezing off while I'm filming this but yeah first walk really needed that really needed that after those activities just yes alone even though this is Erasmus plus project I need that alone time right I need to recharge from people well, actually, I wasn't entirely walking alone. We started walking with three or four Romanian girls, which they were working, walking so slow, and I can't keep up with slow walking. I'm not a slow walker at all. There's so much that happened every single day that it's impossible to put into this video or into each day, because this is what you are seeing. It's maybe like two or five percent of everything that I did experience because it's impossible to put my experiences, my feelings, my life-changing moments into a small video, even though it will be long. As you noticed, I mentioned we had activities, but I didn't film them, sorry about that. It's really confusing and really like hard to film something when you're trying to actually indulge in those activities. On today's agenda, we we're driving to Zakopane and we started this kind of little hike from Little Play Down. It's basically this hike goes till viewing point of Zakopane and the mountain area. Basically, we froze, then again froze because it was minus 10 or 12, but I can't be complaining because you see this. You see. I'm currently just here and soaking up the view mountains i would cry literally they just every single time i see them and i've seen them two times in my life this is my second time i want to cry my heart is melting i just love that so much because latvia is totally flat 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 extremely flat and this is the location where we are basically we are looking to zakopane uh, the city here 
basically the view you saw that I showed. And as we are three people in this project, so 30 people, that's a lot, and the ones that are in the back basically walking, we have to wait for them. And then we needed to wait for our minibus to take to the city center. And it, we were waiting it for like 20 minutes standing there. My arms, oh my gosh, no. And well, they said we have two... 0.5 hours in the center but i was so freezing cold that i already had decided that i will just hit the gym because gym is life and i'm a gym rat and i it's really hard for me to not go to the gym you, you don't even imagine how hard this week is without gym and actually i felt pretty good i did a rep pr i did three reps with 45 kgs probably when you will see this i will be like eh, that's nothing but this gym actually was really really small it costed um 20 slots aka four euros and i basically did random exercises yes i would never do in my gym random exercises but i did, just did a full body workout not the not only these two exercises that i showed but i did a lot of supersets but afterwards it started to get super hot like there the radiator is oh my gosh it was so so extremely hot and from la yesterday's dinner i took and another portion that I put into my lunchbox because I knew that we will be back really late. Hi, it's currently 8.30 the next day, next morning. I'm going on my daily walk, but I wanted to say how yesterday actually went afterwards because I didn't film any clips. So basically, that gym, as I said, you need to be extremely careful there because everything is super sharp. Like all the equipment now already, like I cut my leg in one place. We're not talking about that. And the weights there, you saw like, it was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and no. The one wasn't one kilo it was really really weird and also it was so hot like i was like i thought that i would pass out but i did a really random workout yeah i would never do that at home because i would never progressively overload in that but i just did a lot of exercises i did so i just will say i did bench i did squat then i did uh, bulgarian split squat super setting with tricep extensions and i did shoulder press dumbbell super setting with uh, lateral raises i did seated rows super setting with with dumbbell curls also did leg extension super setting with bicep curl like Afterwards, basically, we all got needed to wait the bus for like 25 minutes and I was frozen. And then, yeah, we came back and we had lunch at 4. Mm -hmm. Then we have had free time till 6. Basically, in that time, I ate lunch and I called my mom. And then at 6, we had this kind of meeting. Basically, we needed to make 4 to 5 questions because we, today we, have, we will have a Zoom call with one guy, one man from European Union and we needed to like make questions but actually interesting questions not like what's your age and now I'm alone going to my morning walk because I don't want to stay inside it's super beautiful and no 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 the same walk I took uh, the first morning and yeah this morning I also did a quiet calisthenics leg day I will link the workouts I do home workouts down below um, and yoga maybe if you're interested Today's plan will be more basic, more like the first day. And tomorrow we're going to Krakow. What we'll do, I have no clue yet. And also if you have any questions, I want to make a Q&A video about uh, Erasmus plus youth exchanges as these are free uh, from, for all people from Europe and like citizens or the people who live in Europe, teenagers. Mostly it's aged from 18 to 30, but they're also like from 16 to 30, but basically till 30 years old. You can go to these projects and uh, yeah, if you have any questions because it's free, uh, food, accommodation, flying, only the extra stuff if you want to buy. I ate so much for breakfast as it is a buffet style and I talked to the owner and I have kind of my own stand with like vegan only. As you can tell here, there are a lot of good things and I ate a lot, like one plate, then cereal, then more and this is what i took to my room because snacks then afterwards they take that food away so i have the muesli i can like i don't know there was like dessert two bananas bread and also more cereal here we had our scheduled meeting and here they were telling us what we will have to do for our movie that we have to make about this project about democracy and previously i said that wrong democracy wrong but they, they said everything and explained it. I'm getting higher and I'm out of breath. I'm not sure, I have no clue where this path where somebody has walked is going, where it will lead me, but we'll see. Starting to see something. Totally out of breath, but 
here we go, somewhere there. This is your daily reminder, just do the things you want to do, no matter if somebody wants to go with you or somebody or nobody wants to go with you. As long as you're happy, as long as you're doing what you want to do. You don't need people to be happy or explore. Yes, I'm walking here alone. I don't care. I love being alone. I don't want to party or drink or smoke like other people do. I want to be with nature because I don't have this opportunity at home to see mountains. I want to use all the opportunities I have, all the free time I have to be somewhere where I wouldn't usually be or be somewhere where I wouldn't have ever even been. I would never be here if I wouldn't be in this project. I'm literally talking out loud to myself, having the best time of my life here alone, enjoying this beautiful view. I know I'm saying this so, so many times, but the view is just incredible. Like people I can't imagine how happy seeing that makes me. I can't even talk properly. I love this. Obviously I'm not. I just signed to this project because it was the only one available for my age, but because it's free and it's also travel. I would never be here. I know I've said that so many times, but I don't care about the project itself. It's for, about democracy. And uh, I'm here just because I wanted to be here in the location, nothing else. And right now in the second, I'm having the time of my life. And I know tomorrow I maybe won't have the time of my life, but, Right now, I just had the time of my life. <laughs> I'm so happy, I want to cry. I, I want to go to projects that are only in good locations just because my biggest dream in life is to explore. To explore and explore and I, I'm basically almost in tears because I'm just... I noticed that here are only small dogs. Look, a puppy! In the evening, we had our first cultural evening, Polish evening. And unfortunately, I can't put in the songs or the dance melody that we did uh, experience because I would get copyrighted. But basically, we tried this Polish dance. It was really easy, in, out, cross. But for me, anything that's with dancing is extremely hard. <laughs> it, this even took me some time to understand. And then one girl's was singing some sort of a Polish song, Sing Sing. She's like a singer, it was really great. And also when I'm editing this, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're literally seeing such a small portion. It's just crazy. I just vlogged some of the highlights or some of the amazing views or something that I wanted to capture or could capture. It's just crazy to look back when I'm editing this. That's it for the first part of the vlog of the week in my life. Don't forget to subscribe to see the next vlog that will come up soon, probably next week. And I hope you really enjoyed it. I know it's kind of really chaotic. I'm editing this and I'm like, oh, it's so chaotic. You can't understand anything. It's like random things thrown together, but <laughs> that's the reality. That's the reality of life, of adventures, of exploring, of trips and of this project, and also of this project.